This is my S2000. This is mine. It belongs to me, not you. This is mine, 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 mine. Hello, ladies. As long as this car is in your man's life, you aren't. And I get sick when I'm around. I can't stand to be around. I and here, I control everything. I control the remote. I control the radio. I control the fan. I control the volume. I control everything. I control the whole. Honda S2000, sponsored by Couples Therapy. Don't even look at the starter button. I'm going to put it over here where you can't see Ever it. since the S2000 went out of production in 2009, the myths have started building. People would say things like, it uses a motorcycle engine, and it goes zero to 60 in three seconds, and flames shoot out the back if you go above 7,000 RPM. I hear it's banned in Canada. I heard you have to get a special insurance license at the courthouse. All this here, all this here, this is for me. You, you sit there and you stare at the blank dash. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't even get to see the radio. The S2000 steering is electronically assisted and adaptive to the vigor of driver input. This is my radio. I'm going to close the door so you can't look at it. Stop looking at it. We're going to listen to my music. Mine. Instead of a clicky knob that adjusts the fan speed, you get a rocker switch which has accompanying LED lights which tell you how fast the air is blowing. Okay, fine. Fine, here. Here, have a vent. You can have a vent. Have fun with your vent. Down below, your feet are kept warm by a Play-Doh Fun Factory vent system, which blows air all over both your feet instead of just wildly heating up one of them. This Honda S2000 is powered by a 1,997cc twin cam engine. I know. I know it's not two liters, okay? Okay, but it does. It does make 237 horsepower. The red line is, okay, the red line is 8,800, but mine, mine goes to nine. I assure you, mine goes to nine. It does. It does. And the engine, the engine is pushed back behind the front wheels, closer to me. If you bring an S2000 into your life, the first thing you need is a radar detector. You can't judge me. You can't judge me. No one judges me. Honda S2000, you're the 9000 RPM. <laughs> an S2000 has more cop magnetism than a cherry bomb equipped CRX. And the second you try to show this car off, you're going to spin. You're going to spin those back tires and the car is going to whip around because there's no traction control mulligans. There's one cup holder here and that's for my drink. You keep your fizzy izzy between your legs and keep the cap on. If you're about to take your learner's permit test, you've hyped this car at your lunch table. No, no, no. It's faster. It's faster than a Porsche. My S2000 is faster than a Porsche. Yeah, you've talked about it. You've talked about it and given it more superpowers than the Bluesmobile. We're going back to my place and watch my DVDs. Yeah, yeah, we're watching that episode again. We're watching that episode. It's a good episode. This is my Pandora radio station. This is my S2000. This is my Red 13 suit with the dick hole. These are my novelty plushes. I heard it can outcorner an aerial atom. I heard this thing beats Jixers. I heard it doesn't pass smog in California. I heard there's a special tax. I heard if you drive an S2000, if you could drive it, like, up over a loop, it would stick like an F1 car. Of course, all the rumors aren't true. Even some of the more reasonable ones aren't true. But there is one rumor that is true. The S2000 has a special ability, and it can do one thing that no other car can do. The S2000 can make an MX-5 owner clam up for five minutes. God hand, God hand, God hand. Hold my hair while I jerk into this dot three bottle I made into a cup. If you don't understand the reasoning of my arguments, well, maybe you can dig it, man. It's just a little zen, I guess.